guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's look i will be doing this look right here it is like a valentine's day inspired makeup look but nighttime so yeah um i'm not really like into smoky eyes or anything like that i'm more into like the brighter kind of looks so let me know what you guys think on the comments down below um on you know what you think about my smoky eyes but yeah if you guys would like to watch um me beat my face and if you guys want to know what products i use and all that good shit um just go ahead and keep on watching before i start i do just want to say uh thank you so much guys for all the support that i've been getting lately um don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already um i will be leaving all the products that i use down in the description down below um and yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay so i totally forgot to show you what i was using but i'm just going in with my maybelline fit me concealer and a little bit of my wonder cover concealer from shop miss a in the shade classic ivory and i'm just going to be using that as a base for my eyeshadow and i am not going to be setting it with translucent powder i'm just going to go in with eyeshadow and i'm going to be using the morphe 35b palette and the first shadow i'm going to use as a transition shadow is just the really the lightest pink and I'm blending that in with my Wet n Wild crease brush. And it's the fluffier brush. Because there's two crease brushes. A small one and then this big one. And then uh, for the second shadow, I'm going in with this um, darker pink purple kind of looking shadow. And I'm using a Doe Color flat brush just to pack on the pigment. Um, I'm just packing it on. And then I'll go back in with another brush and blend it all out. So this is a Morphe brush. All the products that I use will be linked on the description down below. But I'm just using this brush to blend out that pink. Just so that there is no harsh lines or anything like that. Um, I'm also going to be taking two shades from the Masquerade palette by Dubious Place. I think that's how you say it. But I'm taking this um, pink shade right here. And also this like red brick brown kind of sort of color and i'm putting that um only on the crease a little bit lower from where i applied the first pink shade just to bring a little bit of more dimension um to the eye uh, i'm just blending it out with the same morphe brush that i used earlier and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of black but i will only be putting that on the lid and I'm going to try not to go so far up because then I won't be able to blend it. But I'm putting this with a small foundation. I mean, a small e.l.f. brush. And then I'm blending it with the same brush that I've been using. I will be listing all the products down on the description box. And now I'm just blending until, you know, everything looks blended out and there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going back with a little bit of the pink just to make sure that everything looks blended out. Blending is the key to a good eyeshadow, guys. Um, I'm going to be using white eyeliner just to map out where I'm going to be putting the glitter. So I'm using the NYX white liquid liner. And I'm only going to be applying the glitter like three-fourths of my eye. I'm not going to be applying it to the inner corner only because... I feel like it's a little bit uncomfortable in the inner corner of the eye. So, yeah. And to adhesive the glitter, I'm going to be using my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, which is also the adhesive that I use for my lashes. And I'm just going to be applying that all over on top of the white eyeliner. And that is why I like to map it out, just because I know where to put the glue. So, it looks super, super sharp. And the glitter that I'm using is the J-Cat Beauty and Gatsby Party. And I mixed it in with a little bit of, um, I don't know what the other shade is called. But like I said, everything will be on the description down below. And I'm just applying it with a angled brow brush. So I applied some lashes. I'm using the Dodo Lashes in 105. And now I'm going to be going into my foundation 
And this is a Win and Wild Foundation in Desert Beige. I'm sorry, Amber Beige. And I'm going to be mixing in a little bit of my Maybelline Superstay in Natural Beige. Just because, you know, the other one's a little too dark and this one's too light. So I just like mixing both of them together. And I'm buffing that in with my Morphe E6. Okay, I'm going to go in with concealer now, and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Concealer. I love this concealer. It is so creamy, and it is super, super full coverage. And I use the shade Light Medium Beige. Um, I'm just going to be applying some translucent powder to the bottom of my eyes and a little bit over my chin and my smile lines because I do tend to get super, super greasy there. And please don't forget to apply a little bit on your nose because you'll know your girl is oily everywhere. And that translucent powder that I'm using, I got it from Shop Miss A, and it's in the shade Soft Light, and it is only $1, and it is bomb.com. You can use my link. I will be leaving it down on the description down below. And this is what it looks like. Now to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with the Better Skin um, Pressed Powder by Maybelline, and I'm just applying that all over the face. Now I'm going to go into bronzing and I'm using the Amuse Mod Matte Bronzer. This is also from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks just to bronze up the face a little bit. And this brush that I'm using is from a set that was sent to me by Juno Company. I will be leaving their um, information down below. I believe this these brushes retail for $2 each and they are super, super soft. I really, really like them. For blush, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush, and I'm also going in with the one of the brushes that was sent to me. Um, what am I doing? I'm actually watching a show at the moment. I was actually watching Jane the Virgin while I was doing my makeup, and that is why I'm doing a voiceover, because I was so entertained. If you guys have not watched it, I definitely recommend. There is four seasons, and I finished them, and I am so sad. Okay guys, so for highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Palette, and I'm going to be using the pinkish shade, I don't remember the name of it, but do y'all see the freaking pigment? I love when highlighters look like super dewy and wet, I don't know, I just love highlighters like that, more so than highlighters that look super um, dry and like powdery and like actual glitter. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going in with the Kat Von D in Cathedral. I actually found this at Marshall's for $7. So, yeah. I think it retails for like $21, but yeah, I got it for super, super cheap. And I'm going in with this L'Oreal Lip Gloss. I think this is in the shade Rose, and I really, really liked it. I never really use glosses, but this gloss was so comfortable. It didn't feel sticky whatsoever, and it looks so nice on the lips. Okay, so now just to finish off the look, I'm going to be doing the lower lash line. And I'm just going to be applying a little bit of that darker pink that I used and a little bit of the black just to smoke out the lower lash. I don't usually like to smoke out the lower lash only because I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit smaller. Okay, guys, so this right here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um don't forget to leave your comments down below all the products that i use will be linked on the description down below so don't forget to click that 
and all my social medias will be there as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye